Hello everyone, and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Today I will be reviewing the film Nahuel and the Magic Book, a movie that screened at the 2021 Animationist Film Festival. Nahuel and the Magic Book is directed by Germain Agna, written by Germain Agna and Juan Pablo Sebulveda, and stars Consuelo Pizarro, Marceo Liapis, Muriel Benavides, Vanessa Silva, and Jorge Leo. This is a Nahuel and the Magic Book movie review and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Nahuel and the Magic Book film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. Nahuel and the Magic Book is a Chilean animated picture from filmmaker Jama Aquina with some terrific images, a well-imagined villain, and not a lot of substance otherwise. That's not always a bad thing here, some of the character development is so run-of-the-mill that audiences have come to expect more from today's animated pictures. With that being said, there are also some very good intentions here, and these scenes between the protagonist Nahuel and the villain Kalku create some real tension which makes the film at least partly successful. It's the more grounded scenes between Nahuel and his dad that could have used some more fleshing out. Nahuel is a young boy who lost his mother and as a result is terrified of the sea. When curious Nahuel follows a cat, he discovers an old book called the Levisterio, which is heavily protected yet still manages to end up in Nahuel's hands. This book is replete with magical spells, and there is an evil sorcerer character named Kalku who is ready to get the book from Nahuel for his own wicked schemes. There is a lot of focus on the troubled relationship between Nahuel and his fisherman father Antonio. Nahuel can't get anything right with his dad, and even ends up losing the eggs he is asked by his dad to buy in a series of events. Without giving too much away, the movie predictably shows how Nahuel will overcome his fears in order to make his father proud and save the day. Nahuel's goal is the take the bravery spell from the magic book and change his own characteristics in order to salvage his troubled relationship with his father. But Kalku's involvement is a barrier to Nahuel's goals as Antonio and Nahuel become separated and Nahuel must employ the help of the very knowledgeable Frisia to find his dad. One can relate to Nahuel, but the film needed more substance to the early scenes between him and his dad. As it is, it seems like Nahuel is simply a screw-up and it's his own fault he can't get things on track with his dad. Nahuel is obviously mourning the loss of his mother, but the movie seems to be fulfilling its own agenda in the beginning rather than letting things happen organically in the plot. One wishes they didn't make the father-son relationship so sloppy and that the filmmakers balanced out the plot details with some more believable barriers to the father and son forming a real bond. The portrayal of the evil warlock Kalku is very strong, and when the bad guy is more probably developed than the hero in an animated movie, there will be problems. I liked the ravens that Kalku had backing him up in his dire plans to unleash some powerful spells. There are a number of scenes where Kalku wickedly goes after fulfilling his evil desires, and these sequences are the best part of the movie. Only later in the film, when Nahuel grows much stronger, do we really root for Nahuel and want to see him re-establish his bond with his father. It's to the film's credit that the character development is eventually salvaged, but more was required in the opening scenes for a fully fleshed out character to evolve from Nahuel. However, the animation is artistically sufficient, and there are some good messages here. There are some scenes that meander on too long as well, but eventually the movie finds its rhythm and gets the audience emotionally invested in Nahuel and his relationship with his father. Nahuel and the Magic Book is nothing less than a heartfelt story of the powerful bond between a son and his father. Viewers will find rewards throughout, and if they stick with the film all the way through, they're bound to discover some nice messages and a wickedly fine villain as well. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Nahuel and the Magic Book and Movie Review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comment section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.